this is to apologize to all of you uh, for not being there today. Um, I can't tell you how sorry I am. I was looking forward to it uh, in, a, in a dreadful sort of way because I know that I knew that I would be entering into a pillar of, of trauma and uh, so I, I don't suppose looking forward to it is the right way to put it. But uh, the reason that I can't come is that there is a different kind of war unfolding here in India, a war against the poorest people in the world who live in the forests of central India. And the Indian government has, has announced a war against them because they live in lands which are very, very rich in all kinds of minerals and those have now been promised to major corporations. So I got involved with traveling to those places and writing about what was going on. And at the time, there was a sort of threat looming over me uh, in which I was maybe going to be charged under the Special Public Security Act, which is a non-bailable offense. And at that time, I, I decided that I couldn't come to Palestine. But uh, I think that threat has receded now. But still, uh, I am in the middle of a lot of activity around this, this thing that's happening here. So I just thought I would uh, record this to say to the people of Palestine that I am in complete solidarity with their struggle and I, um, I wish that I could have been there. But as, as all of us are involved in so much injustice that's been perpetrated and very often by the very same people, today uh, today, India has aligned itself with Israel and the United States. India, a country that once was a proud supporter of the Palestinian cause, now calls itself a natural ally of Israel. Um, many of the, of the deep right wing here align themselves with the Zionist movement there. Uh, so in, in very many ways we do have the same kinds of adversaries and those who we are fighting against seem to li line up somewhere at some level. In this very complicated fight against occupations of all kinds, I think the really big challenge that faces all of us is how to keep the idea of justice at the center of our struggles because it's very, very easy for, for us to tilt into a space where the only justice that matters is justice for us and justice not for the other. So I think our struggles will be respected and will eventually triumph if we can show that it is justice that matters, not just some narrow idea of it. Uh, I hope the festival goes really well. Thank you.